Just the, the weather or the track that we see changing, of course, a lot of the things that we're hearing from emergency management officials, that is changing minute by minute. We are going to be here with you through all of this. You know, we have family here in the area as well. We want to make sure that they are safe. Absolutely. We want to make sure that you are safe, that you're informed, prepared, and connected. We are going through this right along with all of That's you. That's right. Home. Yes. All right, let's turn to Pinellas County now. We've talked about evacuation orders there underway in zones A, B, and C mandatory. And as we speak, there are a lot of people that are hitting the roads right now. We turn Turn to 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers, who is live for us. And Chris, some of the more vulnerable communities, you know, this is really no easy task. Courtney, Courtney, Josh, that's right. As Pinellas County continues to evacuate, for some families, that's as simple as packing up the car, packing up the kids, and hitting the road to stay with family and friends who live in safer areas. But for some, like the residents here at Patrick Manor, an assisted living facility in St. Petersburg in one of the evacuation zones, that process is a whole lot more complex because there's so many moving parts and so much equipment and supplies they have to take into consideration. As we speak, the team here is packing cars and trailers to head to higher ground. For the folks at Patrick Manor, they'll be hunkering down at Sexton Elementary School. But as with any assisted living facility, there are a lot of moving parts and there's also medical equipment and supplies to take into consideration. Teresa Putnam, the owner here at Patrick Manor, says they're working around the clock to make sure every single resident is safe and secure when that storm hits. It is huge because you also have your incontinent supplies and you have all your extra medication things that you need, your pill pressures, your cups, your, I mean, everything is just pudding. If they take it in pudding or there's so many little intricate details, it's almost unimaginable. Now, Teresa tells me they're having one final meal right now inside the assisted living facility. It's lasagna, in case you were wondering, but they do hope to get the residents out by two to three o'clock today. Just one of many evacuation efforts happening across the area, the Bay Area, as one of the Bay Area's most densely populated counties, rushes to get out. Reporting live in Pinellas County, Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay.